There's no doubt in my mind that my love for her is going stronger because we've been through so many things together. Life with Jimmy Carter has been an adventure. President Jimmy Carter and the former First Lady know very well that they are in the sunset of their lives. And it makes reaching their 75th anniversary this week all the more special. He turns 97 this year and she's turning 94. We met them in their hometown of Plains, Georgia, about three hours south of Atlanta. In the little time we spent, they gave us a master class on relationships. Thank you for allowing me to talk to you about your anniversary. We're delighted, thank you. This 75 years of marriage, what advice do you have for people who want to make it last? First of all, choose the right person to marry. And then uh, give each other plenty of space. Let, let, let the other person you know, have a full life in, in the way they choose. Mrs. Carter tells me she remembers to this day falling for her husband when he was really just a picture on the wall of her best friend's bedroom. Ruth was my best friend. That was Jimmy's sister. I literally did fall in love with that photograph. I would go in that room every time I, think I it went was out. I a uniform. <laughs> when I first had a date with her, the next morning I told my mother, that was the girl I wanted to marry. About six months later, I asked her to marry me, and she said no. So she held out until May of that year. It was a long time. <laughs> yeah. But I had promised my father on his deathbed that I would finish college but he was persistent and I gave in. This is the official record with the county showing that James Earl Carter Jr. finally convinced Miss Eleanor Rosalind Smith to marry him on the 7th day of July in 1946. He was just 21 years old, seen here fresh from the Naval Academy on their wedding day. She was just 18 and was literally the girl next door. It took her a lot longer than this to his side, finally. You sound like you're still a little bit sore about it. No, I'm not. <laughs> I just remember it more accurately sometimes than she does. Oh. <laughs> ABC now projects Carter is the winner with 272 electoral votes. Jimmy Carter, who grew up in a home with no running water or electricity, became the leader of the free world I, Jimmy Carter, in January of 1977. I, Jimmy Carter, do solemnly swear. It was a beautiful day. And a proud evening as he and the love of his life danced the night away at the inaugural ball in Washington, D.C. There's no way that we would be here tonight with Jimmy, President of the United States, without your help. We love and care for every single one of you. Good night. They were a true team. She became the first wife of a president to sit in on cabinet meetings, have an office at the White House, and the first to represent the country as a diplomatic envoy overseas. I bring you greetings from Latin America and the Caribbean. It's a grand placer para mí estar aquí. I've done this for two weeks and I couldn't resist. It was a difficult time in American life with rising inflation, interest rates, and unemployment, and those never-ending lines to gas stations. And American hostages in Iran. The American hostages were blindfolded, handcuffed, and marched out on the U.S. Embassy's front steps by the revolutionary students. His presidency ended after just one term, and as they explained to us in this 1987 interview, they were heartbroken. Feeling our fall of grief and uh, frustration, a, a sense of being a victim of fate. You wonder why this happened, you know, why the hostages happened um, on Jimmy's watch. Thank you all. But they would find new purpose and new success outside the White House, where together they started the Carter Center in Atlanta, a human rights organization. It's three. Uh that has literally eliminated diseases from third world countries and has helped to ensure free elections around the world. We had practically a new life. We love each other more than we did before. 
The two of them work together to build houses for the Habitat for Humanity. They've helped build or repair more than 4,300 homes across the world. We've talked about COVID. How are you both feeling? Well, even I would think the isolation of COVID, we have hardly left our house here in Plains. And uh, even that has made us more aware of each other. And before that, we had not been together all that much. And so it was just Jimmy and me, and it was really wonderful. President Carter, you say often that marrying Mrs. Carter was the pinnacle of your life, more than any presidency. Oh, yes. <clears throat> that was the most important. Having Rosen say, OK, finally, and staying with me all this long has been the most wonderful thing in my life. He's pretty wonderful in my life, too. Our thanks to Steve. The documentary Love and Service, The Carter Story, is now streaming on Hulu. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.